Hey, friends, welcome to Flynn Ghazi. Yeah, the stuff hit the fan yesterday with word that Michael Flynn didn't resign. He'd been fired, fired by Donald Trump because they say that Trump lost trust in Michael Flynn. But uh, that doesn't mean the end of the story. That's just the beginning. There's so many unanswered questions like who told Flynn to call the Russian ambassador in the first place and discuss sanctions? Was it uh, Flynn going rogue, or did somebody direct him to make that call? And if somebody did, could it have been the president-elect Donald Trump himself? Even before that, during the campaign, is it true, as the New York Times reports today, that lots of people from the Trump campaign were in touch with the Russian government and Russian intelligence agencies? What did they talk about? The FBI says they questioned Flynn about his call with the Russian ambassador Shortly after January 20, did he lie to the FBI? And if he did, will he face criminal charges? And if Trump was informed by the White House counsel on January 26 that Michael Flynn had lied about his talks with the Russian ambassador, why did Trump wait until February the 13th to fire him, meanwhile leaving Michael Flynn in charge during those three weeks? And finally, why on Air Force One last Friday, flying to Mar-a-Lago, when asked by reporters, Donald Trump said he didn't know anything about this problem with Michael Flynn, but he would look into it and get back to them. Michael Flynn was lying. The president was lying. Welcome to Flynn Ghazi. The wheels are falling off the wagon already. It's not going to be, it won't be long before the entire deal collapses. This is the Bill Press Show. 